Uh, today is a beautiful day. We're going to take the MT-09, head up to Hilltop Farms, through the back roads, through some pretty scenic stuff. There's still some beautiful leaves on the trees. Not sure how much longer that's going to last, but we'll try to catch the very end of it today. Now, as we always try to do all year long, we try to ride every possible day we can. It's pretty simple logic to it. No, there's no rocket science. We don't get to ride because of the weather and the various other things. We don't get to ride all year long like you would in other parts of the world, country, whatever. But the days we do get, and today looks like it's going to be one of them, are fabulous. It's, it's chilly in the morning. It's downright cold, in fact. And if you get out of here, say at 8 o'clock or 8.30, you could freeze on the way up to uh, where we normally ride. But, but the whole problem is then by the time you get there, it turns into just a wonderful, wonderful temperature to ride in. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. I don't know what to say. I enjoy every one of these fall rides. And there's still a few leaves left on the tree to make it that it's a little more scenic than once it gets really brutally cold. Then it's like all you have is there's no leaves. and mm. But anyway, we're still at the end of that leaf peeping season. I want to try to get every ride I possibly can. Now, I was trying to set up some of my projects that for the winter here. The fuel pump, I found out, again, the place I bought the fuel pump from, Five years ago, four years ago, I bought a fuel pumper. They're out of business, not available anymore. Went out to Amazon. Yeah, they have replacements and mm, I, I don't know, and Partzilla, unavailable. So fuel pump is going to be something I got to hunt down. I've got to really do some homework on that. For they, This is what happens with older bikes. It gets harder and harder to find the original parts and you wind up, you wind up always compromising to something you really didn't want. But keeping these old bikes alive, part of what my passion is but my other pa and my my passion today is going to be to wear to wear that tire out wear it out good too and as I'm filling up the bird feeder I'm looking out in the backyard and seeing what a beautiful view we have just right in our own backyard oh the pet the pet blue jay is here early he, he coexists with the little birds so well look at this they don't even care if he's there amazing a lot of fun in the morning. And for anybody that doesn't raise fish, once it gets below, much below 50 degrees, the fish, we only feed them once a day, and when it gets below about 40, they'll go through the whole winter without eating. But they're still hungry this morning. I know, I know. Don't go riding and forget to feed us. I know the routine. Well, we always feed the fish first, and the birds, and me. Now it looks like the weather is going to go get warmer in the afternoon, but again, early in the morning like this, wow. Blue skies, few clouds, predicted to go up into the, the 60s, I hope. Either way, we're going to have a great ride today, and I hope you enjoy sharing it with us. Every day we get to ride is a good day. There's still so many leaves on the trees. I think this will be a very scenic day. Quick shift there has proven to be a lot of fun. Oh, look at these leaves. Wow. And most of them are gone, but you can see there's little patches of orange here and there. I feel like I'm going to wear that quick shifter out. It is really a lot of fun. Again. And the MT-09 is a blast without the quick shifter, but with it, even better. Now, 
I'm not sure how you can make it better from this point on. And we still may want a windshield when it really gets brutal in the middle of the winter. Right now, I'm just trying to wear out those tires. And some of the trees have already lost all their leaves. But any day you can ride this time of year, you're really in for a treat. And it's a shame about the wind noise. There was some wind blowing today. And it kind of mutes out the sound of that nice cross-plane triple. Early in the morning, those lakes are like glass. And the blue skies, blue, just a wisp of clouds. As you get off the beaten path, there's still a lot of leaves in the road. And the scenery is just to die for. And you just never know when you're going to go around a corner and there'll be some beautiful scenery. just never get sick of riding this part of the country. It is just beautiful. And it's wonderful that we can share these rides through YouTube so conveniently. This was pretty cool. This this was a track, this is actually a track maintenance train. Check out the steam, that looks like they're cleaning the rails here. Look what's happened this year. It looks like they're cleaning the rails. Never saw that before, first time. Oh my god, look at these trees. There's still some beauties. still hoping we have about a month before that real brutal winter sets in. But we absolutely will take every day we possibly can. And the whole idea here is to wear those tires out. And today we did. We got over 150 miles today. And we 
when you don't take any breaks, you just keep riding. The miles go by quick. It's amazing how quick the first 4,000 miles went on this bike. Two months. And I think every one of those miles has been a good memory. The Yamaha P MT-09, PT-09 gets my award. The PT-09, I love that. That was pretty cool. Anyway, here we are, Hilltop Farm. Very scenic. Beautiful flowers. And we still have to take the ride home. Beautiful. Look at the background. Orange trees. Maybe that's a good name for the bike, the PT-09. <laughs> I like it. Oh, I really did appreciate this day. This was at the end of the season. Always good to get back to our farm. Maybe one of those chocolate muffins. You never know. It's always a surprise. Oh, we're back and Karen's got the coffee on. Oh my God, I am so thirsty. The day warmed up. It was just priceless. An absolutely priceless day. This has really been one of the best. And, of course, the MT-09 never disappoints. So I want to thank the healthcare workers, guys. Making a day like this possible for my family. My grandson's going to be over here later with his bicycle and tearing up the yard. Thank you guys so much. So, I do enjoy making the videos. I do enjoy going on the rides, of course. I actually do enjoy editing. I'm, I'm learning a little bit more every day about it. And I hope you enjoy watching them, share them with your friends, and thanks so much, so much for watching. And we do try to share our little adventures every day. Post up something on YouTube almost every day. Some days we miss a day or so, but basically all year we're either riding or we're working on motorcycles or planning out our next adventure or visiting somebody who's having adventures or going on group rides or seeing the people up at the Ducati, Rockwell Ducati, or whatever. I try to keep my life from becoming a groundhog day where every day is the same. And maybe you do too. So anyway, I want to thank everybody that watches our videos and shares them. I, and I really do enjoy this. It's a big part of my life. And thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching.